This video is going to demonstrate how Good Technologies ISV and Enterprise Partners can quickly and easily create co-branded iOS splash screens. Good Technology provides a template PSD that can be opened in Photoshop. This template contains splash screens for both iPad and iPhone in both orientations, landscape and portrait and both resolutions at 1x and at 2x, soon also in at 3x. Now let's take a look at the Layers tab on the right hand side. A couple of layers are colored in orange and those should be left alone. The important ones are the three layers colored in green that allow to edit the logo, the app name and the banner color. The template itself contains already a default logo, default color and application name just to give a sense of the layout of the splash screens. I'm going ahead and drag and drop my new company app logo into Photoshop and back to the template canvas. I double click the edit me logo layer which opens the layer in a separate canvas. And back onto the layer tab I'm going to turn the replace example logo layer off. I don't need that anymore and drag and drop my new company logo onto the logo canvas. I'm resizing this a little and although the height could be bigger I choose to not go all the way just to not crowd the splash screen too much but it's really up to you. Just make sure you vertically and horizontally center the logo. After done editing you can press the X button and the save button and the new logo gets automatically applied to all of our splash screens. Let's say our main brand color is green and we want to change this blue here to green. By double clicking the edit me banner color layer a color picker gets opened allowing me for changing the hex code, the RGB value, or in this case I'm just using my eyedropper tool to quickly apply the green to all the banners. Last but not least I want to change the application name and I double click the edit me app name layer which opens a new canvas and the application name is difficult to see here therefore I'm turning the background layer on and change this application name to something more meaningful. Make sure you shut the background layer off again. Hit the X button and press the save button and the application name gets automatically applied to all splash screens. So after done editing I want to save my splash screens or my assets by going to file save for web I make sure I activate the original layer which allows for a better quality of my assets. I hit the save button which automatically creates a folder containing all my splash screens. Here they are ready for development to implement.